Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to the Fangoria Movie Challenge. This is the segment I've been doing with my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man, where we're not only going to watch, but also review all 101 movies Fangoria thinks we should have seen. Today, we're going to be taking a look at The Changeling. The Changeling is a 1980 film, which runs approximately 107 minutes, and is directed by Peter Medak. Now, he was responsible for Species 2, The Craze, and a TV movie which I absolutely love, which I think I have it on my DVR, but it's really hard to find. And actually, Joe has a VHS of this called The Babysitter, with uh, William Shatner and... I'm trying to think of the other people in it. Anyway... This stars George C. Scott as John Russell. He passed away on September 22nd, 1999, at the age of 71. He was in The Hustler, Patton, and Dr. Strangelove. Trish Van Deer as Claire Romanoff. She was in Messenger of Death, The Hearse, and The Last Run. And Melvin Douglas as Senator Carmichael. He passed away on August 4th, 1981, at the age of 80. He was in HUD, Being There, and another one of my favorites, Ghost Story. Now, the budget on this was $7.6 million Canadian. Of course, this was filmed in Canada. And Martin Scorsese. Consider this on his top 11 scariest movies of all time. And the score was composed in London, England. Alright, this has a fairly... It's it's not a simple story, but I don't want to give away too much for the simple fact that... Um, I feel like this is one that still a lot of people haven't seen. It kind of passed under the radar. Uh, this is about uh, George C. Scott, who plays a composer named John Russell. Now, in the beginning of the film... His family, his, well, his wife, his daughter, and him are going on a trip, and they're driving through snowy conditions, and they get stuck and pull over to get some help, and while he's on the, like, a payphone on the other side of the road, his family is killed by a, just by an, an automobile accident. So we're talking some time later, he is trying to keep himself busy. He's trying to, you know, compose this new work that he's been working on. And he kind of teams up with the historical society of a certain town and rents a house in that, from that historical society. Well, as he's there composing and fighting his own demons with the loss of his wife and his child, he starts hearing very odd sounds and odd happenings within the house. Of course, one of the things is his daughter's ball, which he's always kind of held on to, uh, I guess for sentimental reasons. Um, this ball right here, actually. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. Um, yeah. Things start happening that are very weird in the house, and he finds out that someone has died in the house. It's about as far as I want to go with it because it turns from a like a haunted house ghost story to a got kind of like a who done it in a way. And it's it's pretty creepy. Um I remember when I was younger, this was one of the movies and I do believe this was rated R. I forgot to check um with that. I don't remember if it was rated R or not. I would imagine because of the content it's rated R, but it could have been PG. I don't remember. But this was on uh, television, and my parents, this was one of the things that before I was, you know, kind of into horror in that way, that they let me watch on television. But I could only watch a certain amount of it because, of course, being when I was like real little, I had a bedtime. And I made it up until the ball started coming down the steps, and this ball right here. <laughs> 
And uh, yeah, I, I, uh, it, it was pretty terrifying. It's, it's a pretty amazing film. Um, George C. Scott gives a great performance, and this is different from a lot of other horror films. I feel like this has a tremendous amount of street cred, being that it's George C. Scott and you know Melvin Douglas and all that. The house is absolutely gorgeous that he rents. I mean, it is a beautiful piece of work, and it actually acts as a character in the house, in my opinion. All right, we're going to get to my relatable recommendation. Um, I chose The Innkeepers, uh, directed by Ty West. Now, this is uh, uh, Sarah Patton and Matt Healy. They play kind of partners in this hotel that's getting ready to close, and it has a kind of a, a sordid past, and it's supposed to be haunted. It just gives me the changeling sort of vibes, and it's done extremely well. Um, this is probably, this actually might be my favorite Ty West film. Yeah, it might be my favorite Ty West film. But yeah, check out The Changeling. It's um, it's just a fantastic movie. So underrated. I mean, a lot more people know about it these days, but I still don't feel like a lot of people have seen this one. Check out The Innkeepers. It's a lot of fun. And don't forget to check out Joe's review and see what he picked as a relatable recommendation. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.